Okay, hello and welcome. Uh, gonna be shaving again today, except today I am using an actual Astro Blade in the uh, Merker 37 razor slant head. Um, and I'm using uh, Williams soap. I've seen some other people give this a kind of a negative review. Um, so I'm gonna try, I'm doing a direct bowl lather with this, as you can see. It looks like it's a good lather, but once you get it on your face, we'll see how it goes. Um, so I'm not using a third bowl. This is a direct lather. <clears throat> Let's see how she works out. And it did take a couple of minutes to do this versus yesterday with that bay rum where it, uh, it, it lathered really quick. I saw that on Nick Shaves that he was having a problem with it. Uh, and I, I've had people tell me that you got to do this a direct lather, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And it's it's holding up pretty good. It's not dissipating too bad. And we'll see how good she does when I'm done. Yeah, I can see parts where it, where it dissipates rather quickly on the face. Get some water in here. But, uh, it's really, it's, it's, <clears throat> doesn't seem like it'll be too bad, but. Nothing like uh, that Colonel Conks yesterday. Yeah, look at this side of my face. It's already dissipated. Okay, well, maybe this isn't going to be good, but... But we'll give it a shot anyway. Because I can shave very fast with this Merker uh, 37. But I'm just working this in, work it in, work it in. Actually, it doesn't, it seems like it, it, it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and try this. Again, an Astro Blade first pass. And this William soap is very cheap, so you're not breaking the bank if you buy it. Just try it out. Let's get under the nose. Astro Blade, it's, I, I don't know if this or the shark is better. They're about the same, but the shark is two cents cheaper. This is, these are 10 cent a blade. Sharks are uh, eight cent a blade, so. As for the lather that Williams gave me, it's, it's really not a thick lather. And it does dissipate rather quickly, but 
Um, you can use it. And as you can see, I used it. Wasn't bad. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, works pretty good for uh, pretty slick. Not as good as that uh, bay rum yesterday. The Colonel Tonks, not not nearly as good as that. All right, we'll we'll try uh, pass two here. Again, I'm using an Astro Blade with William soap, a Samoog brush, and a Merker 38 razor or 37 razor. Excuse me. I mean, in the bowl, it lathers up good. It looks nice, but it's like it just doesn't want to stay on your face. I don't know why. But it was cheap, so. Like if it stayed like that the whole time, that'd be a good lather. We'll see if, it, if it'll. Maybe it was me last time. Maybe I just didn't work enough in. No, see it's dissipating. Under my nose is good. Uh, but I'll have to get a little more. Well, this stuff, you really got to pile it on just so you can see it. And I'm having to work this in a lot longer than I do on my second pass than what I normally do. But see, that's already pretty much gone. It's hard to see. It's still there, but it's it's just hard to see. All right. See if it'll make for a comfortable shape. Okay, we're going cross grain this way. You remember on my neck I go uh, uh, this way because the way my hair is growing and it cuts it better. So. I was really surprised with the shave I got yesterday. It worked very well. Um, no irritation, no, no problems. I got everything on the second pass. But, uh, yeah. So this soap, it, it works pretty good. The only thing is it's hard to see. It looks like it goes away, but it, it's really, it doesn't go away, it's still there. Um, it does make for a pretty smooth surface. So it's worth a shot. If, if you know you have more success with it, let me know. I'm gonna try another uh, another pass here.
the last pass, third pass, before I do the touch up. And I know this stuff has been around a long, long time, so I figured it would uh, perform well, but I gotta tell you, that bay rum yesterday was, was I was really happy with that. You know, I, I do a couple extra passes on my neck just because I don't want to get razor burned, and I'd rather do an extra pass and get razor burned. All right, we'll do the little touch-ups here. Face looks good. Do some spots on my neck and chin. Uh, as for the Astra blade and the Shark blade, uh, I think the Astra is a is a little bit better of a performer today, especially with uh, this soap not working as good as the Bay Rum soap. But the Shark blade is very well worth it. It is not expensive. Neither is this Astro Blade though, so. See how I'm doing this. So this soap does work for a, a smooth surface. It's, it's just hard to see. I'll give you a good slick. Couple little spots on my neck. So I can feel it in my hand just where I touched it. So you might want to use this soap with something else that's a little thicker to see. Maybe that'll work better for you. Here's the last pass to get the final touch-ups. Again, you'll find, uh, once you get doing this, you'll, you'll find the best way that your face responds to how you need to shave with the blade and everything. Because everyone's a little different. But it's a lot of fun, so I recommend you try it if you have a problem with regular shaving. There's still this little spot right there in my chin, I think. Been especially a little pain today. Well, it's a success. Uh, gave me a decent shave, nothing bad. Um, I probably won't use this William soap again. It, it's not a favorite. I've got three things of it. So I'm gonna 